Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Our Uber driver just dropped us off and we are gonna be living in the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid for the next 24 hours. You guys might be wondering, how are we gonna stay in a Bass Pro Shops for 24 hours? Bass Pro Shops behind us right here actually has hotel rooms inside. So we have the nicest hotel room book, the biggest tackle store, of all time in the 10th biggest pyramid in the United States, or in, in the, the world. world. 10th biggest pyramid Including in the, the world. Including the Great Pyramids, everything. If I'm not mistaken, biggest pyramid in the United States. Correct, yes or no? I think it's the biggest one in the United States. Fact checkers, <laughs> prove us wrong. <laughs> Biggest pyramid in the United States, 10th biggest in the world. Norm flies me out here. I have no idea. I didn't know this place has a hotel. I had no idea. I did very minimal research because I want everything to be a surprise. I don't know if you guys can see on top, but all the way up there, that's how big this thing is. Those are people. Let's see if we you can probably see. can't even see them. There's so much to explore in here. Restaurants, there's food, housing, shelter, whatever if we wanted to call this a survival challenge, yeah. and unlimited fishing gear. How do you get up top? Is there, a, you gotta take stairs to get up there? I don't know. Oh, they're waving. Oh, <laughs> we have the next day to spend here. We might even do a little bit of fishing. We might dabble around. We're in Memphis right now. This is where this is. Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. Memphis, Tennessee. Took a flight all the way here just to experience this for a whole entire day. This tackle store is the most iconic fishing tackle store of all time. I didn't yes. want to do it because I don't know what I'm going to do to top this next. I think a lot of fishing YouTubers have done it, but I intentionally did not watch their videos. So it's yeah, fresh. Yeah, you get your oh, own spin. Have you you've been here? So I have been here. I, I walked in here. I wasn't in here for long, though. I kind of, yeah. I was on a time crunch. I know it's giant inside. I did not know they had a restaurant. I did not know they had the, uh, the hotel, but it's like multi-level from what I remember. We're gonna try to also keep this budget friendly. With that being said, I think we need to check in all of our bags because I got us the nicest room did in you? the whole entire Bass Pro <laughs> Pyramid. Wow. We needed the real experience. The whole, the whole night. The only plan was flying here and, <laughs> and coming yeah, yeah. to this and I have a room. So Y'all think, think he's playing when he says that. He's literally like, yo, yeah, do you want to fly to Memphis and go to the Bass Pro? And I was like, yeah, what's the plan? He's like, well, that's the plan. Let's go see if we get our rooms. Oh, dude, I left my phone in the Uber. Your, your phone is in the Uber? Oh my gosh. No. What are we gonna do? I have my like, ID and everything for the hotel room. No. Wait, did I really do that? Did you do that? He checked the car, I'm calling your phone. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Wow, what a start. It has everything I need to buy stuff with. It has the ID. I've already booked the room Yeah. Uh, but online. You they're not going to give it to you without I, your ID. Without my ID. So we're off to a great start. This it's is... 102 degrees outside, and the yeah. guy's not picking up the phone. He just left his phone in the Uber that brought us here. Ugh. Ugh. So he don't have his ID to check in. But the room's already booked, paid for everything. There's his ID on the picture. We have, we have Where the Uber at with your phone, dog? Going down the highway. Then coming back? Yeah. We've been to hunt him down. Yeah. <laughs> they called the Uber like seven times. The dude is not picking up the phone, but luckily Zayd has a picture of my ID because I'm notorious for losing things. So we're able to check into the hotel. Shopping though? We, we're gonna explore. <laughs> but if this guy doesn't call me back, I don't have my card or my phone or anything. What you doing? Really? Yeah, you're part of it. We'll start the show. Hey man, we checking in. How about say, shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the BCL, Big Cypress Lodge. <laughs> no parties, no fits, no candles, no smoking. That just means be mindful of your neighbor and please don't burn our building down. That's all we have. It's a lot of wood in the building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's our spiel. These are your golden wristbands to ride the elevator to the top of the pyramid. Last ride is at 8.30. Store closes at 9. Map of the hotel. Your complimentary snacks and water bottles in your room. Y'all go enjoy. Peace out. See you in a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. I think she said our room was too Oh, okay. oh yeah, we're too. Oh, I'm spilling wow, drinks. Bro, he's flustered. Just fumbling on Netflix. Two? Right two? All right. Oh. It's like the coolest hotel ever, man. I can't wait to see our room. Yeah, we're all the way at the end, but that's because I think we have a balcony that overviews the whole entire store. I don't know. I've lost everything, but Zayna has to find my location on his phone for my phone. And, uh, oh, you mean to show him? Yeah, just show him. Look, I have a picture. This is where we are right now. We're right here above the P. Norm's phone is over here. <laughs> and here's Norm. Five minutes away. <laughs> here's Norm. He's not picking up the phone calls. It's actually kind of stressing me out, but uh, room tour time? Room tour. 2.36? 2.36. It's crazy is this hotel is bigger than any hotel I've ever been at. We haven't even seen the fishing stuff yet. Do not disturb Harp. Why is somebody in our room? I feel like it. Ow. Look. Open the, open, open the book. It should say where our. It said 236. Does it? 234. Oh, we better go, 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 go. Right there. 
like it's my turn. <laughs> it said do not disturb and I just yanked on the handle. Why did we think, why were we saying 236 the whole time? Where'd that come from? I don't know. You gotta tap it, remember she's, <laughs> she liked, she said you had to tap it hard. She liked it. Dude. Oh, this is sweet. Where are the lights in here? Oh, the bathroom is Bro, pretty nuts, man. Nuts. Everything's made out of wood. This is crazy. Oh, dude, the balcony. Bro, I'm wearing this tonight. Just for you, Norm. <laughs> this is freaking cool. I didn't know that it was going to be... Like this, like they made everything to be like an outdoorsman's hotel. I thought yeah. it was just like a hotel that conveniently was. We have a fireplace. Place? Can you open it? Oh, it's not real. Oh yes, and Bass Pro Waters. I think what it is with the whole hotel, like when we're walking through, it's attention to detail. Like the lamp is antlers. Yeah. I mean, just the light switch right here is like some type of outdoorsy tree thing. This is like a um, like leather hide off of a deer. I'm not even kidding. I'm so serious when I tell you that. It's like, that's exactly what that is. That's like that we have a fish. Oh, up. I didn't even see that. <laughs> you see we have a deer right above our beds too? A big one at that. Dude, I can take a shower while you take a bath and then we can switch. Awesome. Two sinks, his and hers. Who's the hers? And Whichever, whatever, whichever we'll just rock, paper, scissors for later. Dude, this is nice. Yeah, this is crazy. Separate, like, toilet area so you can close the door. That's, dude, this is so nice. Yeah, I like the aesthetic. That's the word I've been looking for. Aesthetic, like, yeah, I like that. Look at this. So you can do pull-ups on that. Well, far exceeds my expectations. I know. I didn't know a hotel inside of a Bass Pro Shop could be this nice. This is pretty cool. And this was the... The one with the balcony, I think we have to go out on the balcony. Mm. That's I, I spent, to. I think, an extra $50 yeah. for the balcony. And like a uh, hotel room that viewed the whole inside of the pyramid. Let's do it. Let's oh do it. my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. This is insane. You can see literally everything. The, I don't even know how we're gonna like tackle this store. From right here to the other side of the store, all the way over there, that's 200 yards. And look up, you see how high up it goes? Dude, that's and nice. there's an elevator. Bass Pro Pyramid so far is crazy cool. We've yeah. just done our hotel room. There's the biggest tackle store to explore. Yeah. I kind of want to go do it. In the back of the mind, I'm thinking about my phone being halfway across across Memphis right now. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping the balcony was like a little bit more like dangerous, like where they have like screened in and protected. I kind of wanted to like be able to fall if I wasn't careful. We need to call, we need to call that Uber guy again too. Yeah. They just bring a camera at me, but this is actually serious. I have my phone and wallet. How are we going to fly back? You guys think of that? If I don't get my phone and ID, I can't go back to Florida. I'm stuck in Bass Pro Pyramid. Dude, Might not be the worst thing, but my this is actually serious. My ID is gone. They're probably gonna charge us a lot to leave here, but I'll tell you what, I won't leave until you leave. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really realizing how much of a problem this is that that phone is gone and the guy's not picking up his phone. You could probably film a good amount of vlogs here though, right? We got all our clothes and bags. We would never have to leave. Yeah, yeah new apartment. No, yeah, exactly. You don't need, my, like, we got everything we need, literally. Well, I just called your phone again, and the guy didn't answer. It sounded almost like he hit the ignore button, so. It, like, rang less? Mm -hmm. Like, three rings, and then. You can turn the fireplace off, though, behind you. Yeah, that's a good, that's a plus. Mm, there you go. What was that? I have your cell phone for ransom. Oh, dude, why I would you I need seven packs of blazing worms. <laughs> Why would you joke about that, dude? I thought he replied. <laughs> Your bed looks kind of more comfy than mine. I kind of just want to lay with you. Hey, Helly. Hey, we uh. Hello. Hey. Uh, yeah. So yeah, how are you? I'm good. I left my yeah, phone. Oh yeah, yeah. You are funny, phone is over. I, I am. I booked the Uber, but your phone is down, 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 stair. So I pick up your phone. Okay. Where do you live? I'm at the, uh, do you know where the Bass Pro Shop is? Can you bring the phone to the Big Pyramid Bass Pro Shop? You can pick our phone my house. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. We're, do you have the address to your house so we can write it down? Okay, awesome. We'll be there shortly. It says we're about 35 minutes away, so we need to get an Uber. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, welcome. All right. If they try to jump us when we get there, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Dude, this is the worst start. I had such a beautiful plan for this video when we came here. I was like, oh, we're going to tour the room, eat some food, go tackle shopping. My three favorite things, sleeping, eating, and tackle shopping. And now we're going 
what, 35 minutes uh, across Memphis? I don't have my phone, so because some people get Uber. Oh, more of the gas station tours in here. So I went up. We have my phone, but you guys aren't gonna believe it. It wasn't the Uber's house. It wasn't the Uber driver's house. Oh! The lady rode in the Uber car, and she showed up my phone like five times ringing. Bro. He, he, he said, uh, don't worry about it, and he kept hanging up our phone calls on the dashboard. So she said- I told you, what I tell you about the three rings and that yeah, was it, remember? Then, yeah, Bro. and so she said that he was, she just inferred that he was probably not gonna give the phone back. Yeah. Maybe because my card and ID are on the back. So oh, she bro. said, I took it out without telling him and then called you back. What a gangster, she said, bro. She's the one who, and I yes. said, thank you so much. And I offered her, I was like, I was like, we have money. Do you want like yeah. money? She's like, no, we can't accept your money. And I was like, please. And she's like, she's like, no, just, bro. um, you know, whatever. So how do we fly yeah. out of Bass so Pro? I thought that for the first like 15 seconds, I knocked on their door and I was up at their house. I thought it was the Uber driver and they were so nice. So she gave me my phone back, my card and ID are still here. We literally so. flew to Memphis to go tackle shop at Bass Pro. And we are on a Navy SEAL Team 6 mission right now. Mission complete. We're on the way back to Bass Pro and- Look at all the missed calls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we have finally made it into the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. We only have a couple hours before this store closes and there's so much to explore. So, on my to-do list, I think there's like the most freshwater and saltwater species of fish in a single tackle store yep. in the Bass Pro Pyramid. And there's tons of fishing gear all the way in the back, but there's like hunting stuff, boat stuff, there's, ATVs. Yeah, there's a bunch of just stuff. There's, there's so much to explore that I feel like we could get lost in here. Like when me and my dad, when I was a kid, we used to go into Home Depot. And I feel like we'd go in for like a light bulb and we'd, three hours later, we'd yeah. have a ton of things. That's crazy. I feel like that's how this is going to happen. My dad left. But we're here. I don't know where to start. I think the best way to start is to start. I we probably should take steps that way. <laughs> that's <laughs> probably the best way to start. All right. Probably... Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's awesome. All right, so look, awesome. I'll give you guys $5 and a $20 Bass Pro gift card for Hershey. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hershey dog. I okay. Walk all the time. <laughs> Alright, maybe next time, maybe next time. <laughs> the entrance here, you're walking over a massive pond. Dude, look at the sturgeon. I don't know how well they can see bro, on that camera. Is a sturgeon, that is a whole bro, that fish is <laughs> that's a Hawaiian sturgeon. Mm. You know, I know fun fact because they have white tips on their fins. The Alaskan sturgeon, well they also have white tips, but the Hawaiian ones do too. So it's certified from Hawaii. That was like an eight-foot sturgeon though for real. Yeah, it kinda, it kinda scared me. Dude, the fish tanks in here, it's like more pond than land. I swear we saw a sign yesterday that said it was 6,000 square feet of pond, right? Yes. 6,000 square feet? Dude, do you want to hear another analytic that I heard is crazy about the store? A hundred million dollars for this store in taxpayer dollars. Not even Bass Pro Shops. Because it's a tourist attraction, they get a hundred million in taxpayer dollars to help build this thing because people come and travel to the city. A 6,000 square foot area of water. That's like, bro, 6,000 square foot is literally bigger than A.O.'s mom's house. Like, I don't know how, I mean, it's insane. I don't, I just don't, that's a big area. So we should just probably keep exploring. I don't know if we can say that. The problem is guys, we only have a couple hours, actually less than like an hour and a half, and we gotta get all the way to the other side of the store, but yes, there's so much stuff that can stop us. Oh, it's but, so funny, cause anywhere else we go, we're just kind of like normal dudes, but if we step foot in a Bass Pro Shop, that's it, it's, it's like we're Miley Cyrus and or something. And we are in not just a Bass Pro Shop, we are in the, the Bass, Bass Pro, Pro Shop. Shops. Alligators. Oh, Gary. <laughs> Gary's at it again. Gary's at, look at Gary. What's he doing? He's getting a suntan. Because his reptilian skin, to fun fact, did you know alligators like rock? We'll catch you in a little bit, Gary. We got to go to the fishing section. Hey, guys, later, there's a massive elevator that goes all the way to the top of the pyramid up there. And there's a restaurant up there and apparently a great view. The people that we were waving at in the intro. Yeah. So we got to go up the elevator. We have those special yes. wristbands for it. Bro, the elevator is literally like, that's, that's like, bro, that's 50 feet. Got to be. Like, it's minimum. actually. Fun fact, maybe it was 56 stories, the Bass Pro Pyramid. I Googled fun facts before this, guys, will pop up the actual facts. It's either 36 or 56 stories tall. It does, uh, bro, And the 10th biggest be. pyramid in the world. 10th biggest pyramid in the, the world. The biggest in the United States. Oh no, Norm, don't push me into the pond <laughs> accidentally. I feel like this is kind of a safety hazard. Like, somebody could definitely trip over this and fall in. Oh, that's so cool though, man. Oh, look at that catfish, holy smokes. You see that, that catfish? I think that's the blue cat. You know what I'm saying? That, he like, does look, he does have a little bit of blue. He's got to like him. a blue tint to him, you know? That Look at this catfish coming up right here. Oh my gosh. You come say what's up. Bro, you give me like $3 and a pack of saltwater taffy, I'll jump on him. 
I don't want to get life banned from Bass Pro. That's true. We just we literally just got here, so we don't want to. What's so cool about this Bass Pro, at least in my opinion, is not only is it like just huge and it's a pyramid, but just the taxidermy of all the animals. I think that's the right word. Like this bear right here, it's just the Bro. attention to detail and the waterfall that flows into this. Oh, look at that drum. Oh, that thing is giant. Dude, look at how many dots he has on his tail. You know how redfish normally has like one or two? Yeah. That's got to be like a rare, some sort of like. That's, dude, I don't even know how to explain that. Look at how many dots are in his tail. Normally a redfish has one dot, he has one, two, three, four, five, and then that cluster of dots right there. That's one of the coolest redfish I've ever seen. Yeah, dude, An this guy's mobbing in this <laughs> tank. Like, he owns this tank. He's literally like, bro, I'm swimming. Look, he got out of his way. Get out of my way. He's like bully. He's a fish tank bully. That's all it is. What, what is actually pretty cool is redfish are saltwater, and bass, obviously, there's largemouth bass in here that are freshwater but they can kind of both survive in brackish water. So when you have all those cool like little rivers and yeah. streams like in Florida, there's potential to catch like a redfish like that. And then also a bass, but normally they're smaller, but in here they have like the biggest of both worlds. Like there's some massive largemouth bass. Look I saw one. Yeah, yeah uh, there's huge ones down here. Inside of the structure right yeah. there. Like, see that? And look at that catfish back there. Oh, I don't even Bro. see the catfish. They look like whales. Yeah, literally they are, you know. Kind of. That's got to be a 150 pound catfish. Yeah. All right, where is fishing? I got there, myself turned around. We literally get sidetracked every seven seconds. There's a restaurant right here. How do we, how do we get to fishing? All right, guys, well, we are here in the fishing section finally. finally. <laughs> and no joke, biggest fishing section I have ever seen. Yeah. And we were just at Shields in Texas. I was about to say, you know what? Actually, beach, beach Shields. And that's the biggest one I've ever been to until now. Bro. I didn't realize how big it was last time I came oh. to the <laughs> God, Zaid? <laughs> but it looks like they have every fishing we were ever designed in here and every single color, but we only have one suitcase. Thank goodness we didn't come in my car because I'd probably, I'd go crazy. I was say at that point, you gotta buy one of everything. Maybe one of everything. Wrong. What I think we need to do, Yak Pack, is find stuff that's so unique to only this store that I would not be able to find it at our house because by the end of this video, we're gonna be catching a fish guaranteed, hopefully on everything, like five fish. For and sure, let's go on the hunt. Reels are not out of the question too, so let's Ooh. do some baits, get some reels. Maybe we just see something that's not even fishing related that we really want. Yeah. I don't know, I'm willing to do anything and everything. I mean, don't threaten me with a good time. No, this is it's overwhelming, because there's just, I mean, probably, I don't know, what's the accurate rod estimation for the store? Fun fact, they have 1,337 on hand in stock at all times. Just because the population of Memphis is so great, when they come in the store, they have to have that amount of rods in stock at all times. So that's the, that's the correct number. If you was looking for that, that's that's good to the T. There's thousands of rods in here, guys. There's thousands of everything in here. That is not a, a kind of like sorry, I'm sorry. The quiver worm. That's what they used to call me. High school. I've never seen that. It's just a worm, but I'm getting it. <laughs> Let's just remember, guys. We've flown, we've flown from Texas here back to home so everything we still have from texas is still in my bag too we have like seven reels in there we have a yeah. lot of stuff yeah but um i still want to go crazy so all right let's get a ton of baits fishing reels everything oh you gotta inform us for the video where's the mega bass section can you show us around it's this is perfect locked. oh there we go yeah it's locked they have a locked up case in this bass pro <laughs> that's that's unique all right well guys we met some employees they're taking us to the secret sauce oh my gosh well, I'll be dying. There we go. The locked up case. So what is that right there? That I've never seen that before. That's a top water. That's a spook type bait, Norm. Bro, look at this, Norm. <laughs> I don't even know. It's the Vibration X. I know you see it, but do you see it? The Demonte. The Dog X. <laughs> That's going in the bucket. <laughs> we need that. We need one. Look, you need one of these. Look at that. It's red, too. And I know, I know you love red. Red is our lucky color. Do we need a mag draft too? What? You need a mag, mag draft draft color. Mag draft, like that color right there in, in Florida well, too. There's another one in here. There's that's the buzz. Bay. That's the exact one I had. The anaconda. Look, it's anaconda color. Watch. Jamaican boa is what I meant to say. Not anaconda. I was close. Rainforest fishing lure. But that one <laughs> is the one you need. need. This one. Perfect. And man. the gold color too. We Either do. one. So golden shiner or gizzard shad. Which one do you think will be better in Tallahassee? Dude, they said gizzard shad. I, and we're going to Alabama to fish with these. So. You said, oh, you're going to Alabama? Yeah. Oh, so you need both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that works. I think What's that's... the most expensive lure in the store? Is it one of those, or do you guys have anything like... The most expensive? What would you say? I would have to say it would probably be those jerk baits. I mean, obviously the jerk bait, $25 for a jerk bait is going to be a 
hefty price. I think we need a jerk bait too, probably. Oh, dude, that's crazy that you say that because I'm gonna get you a jerk bait. <laughs> I think you need the deepest of diving jerk bait. 110 plus one. <laughs> that's fancy you say that. 110 plus one. I think you'll really like this white color, Norm. What do you think? I like it, man. Looks like a bait fish. Yeah, we might as well throw it in. I want a popper too, honestly. Yeah, these poppers are like very unique. So look at that one. Yeah. Versus which one you got? I got this one. The baby bass color. Okay. Which one of these do you think Norm should get? Oh, that's crazy. You guys said both of them. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> There's a pink Luffy, Lucky Craft. I want to see the reels like right now. Oh, and the real! I've just been on a little thing recently where I like buying bait casters. I think you should challenge yourself, Norm, to yeah. buy the most expensive left-handed bait caster reel. <laughs> and then I think we should foot race to see who can win that reel. <laughs> oh, you know what they didn't have at Shields that you wanted to buy? The MGL right there. Oh, and they have it here. Yeah, that's crazy. That's perfect. Yeah. I know you don't mess with uh, spinning reels, but like oh my a Stella is top a thousand Tier. bucks yeah but like that's not a bass reel bro like you're you're ripping the face off a of bass with that like that's not remember the amberjack stuff like that's yeah. what that's exact reel we were using for Dude, like this that. is like a mortgage payment in a fishing reel right here yeah that's yeah crazy. i don't think i can do this but i might do that we went to the other store and they were out of the mgls and i don't have one yet I think and, it's got, one and, and it's got the power handle on it. it's the big handle Oh, that's exactly what we need. Yeah, that's especially a, a Bro, steel. It's got it's black just, knobs on it, dude. You got it's got the power handles. You know what I mean? It's you're saving money, but at the end of the day, yeah. At the end of the day, I think you, I think I don't think you have a choice. I think you. I did just you buy that, that one the other day. No, I probably did. No, you but didn't. But no, you it's, that's one, the one though. that I've I've you have one of those. But I don't think you have a Matania. I don't like those. Either. I don't like those ones at all. Dude, the back half. It was I was letting Ryan fish with it, fish in, and he set the hook and completely snapped off the back handle on it, and I just got it like two weeks. Dang, Shimano, that's crazy. You guys should probably warranty that. We'll go, I think the Shimano Metanium NGL. Because where I'm at, we just don't have, I mean, the best thing we have is like Corrado DCs that you can buy in stores. So when you're at a store like this, you just have to kind of indulge a little bit, you know? I mean, we flew this way, all this way for something. And that's yep. probably, you know. That's part of being it. Being the last one on the shelf, that's probably the reason like we flew here. I would have to guess. Oh, it looks clean, dude. <laughs> the handle looks a little bent. So if I was y'all, I'd probably add another like 10 bucks to it or whatever, you know? What's, what's the, it's a 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. So it's, it's, a good, it's a good frog and reel. Yeah, I think that's yeah. how that works. Mm -hmm. We're getting it. Yeah, cool. All right. I don't know. Guys, I don't even know what to talk about because there's so much in here. I'm overwhelmed. And this store, it's just a fisherman's paradise. You can come in here and just spend all the money you ever made. So much stuff. How much for one of those sturgeons that's swimming around in the pond? Bro. <laughs> $25. Twenty-five bucks. Is that even possible, though? Is that even for a large amount? Like, if you fish somewhere that's never been fished before, where a fish is a bass has never seen one of those, yeah, they probably a big one would bite it. But like, good luck. That's ridiculous. I, I mean, I guess we'll get it just to try. But I don't even think I, if a ten-pound bass even tried to eat this, I don't even know if he could. I, mean, I think we should get it though because it looks cool. Oh that's yeah, that's more doable. Yeah, that's more doable. That's a really big lure, though. Like, I mean, that's this is giant. That's. Huge. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna throw this around. When we get back, I'm gonna try to catch a big bass. I think I'm gonna can. get I'm gonna get both of them just yeah. to be safe. I think you can. But just to be safe. Just if one falls yeah. off. Yeah, you never know. You never know. You can we get caught in a tree, like you just forget it at home, then you gotta back up. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Is that a, like a chatterbait? You definitely need this. <laughs> just put it in the cart, dude. Look at the hook on this thing. Dude. It's just gonna feel like you're winching in a nineteen ninety-four model. Ford F-150 out of the water. <laughs> yeah. And we, Lord knows we love F-150s. Oh my God. Is this, okay, so this is salt water, obviously. A striper on We actually are going to the river when we get back next week. Not a bad idea, I guess. I was about to say, the big boys on there. Oh, I, this is actually gonna be really useful. No, like for real. Wait, what hooks do you even use to put on here? 12 size. Oh ounce my God. Ounce and a half. Ounce and a half? Five of them things. I don't know if you need that many, but I, you know it looks good. No, because no. it's it's four on each, right? Mm-hmm. And you have three of them, so four, twelve, eight, twelve. And I got twenty three, something. Three, six. Yeah, that's massive. so that way if you, you if you lose a bait, you, if uh, one tail rips, you have replacements. I, we need jig heads too. What do you guys recommend? These ones? Oh, oh they have eyeballs gosh. on them too. Look at that. You know what I think you should do, Norm? I think you should mix up the eyeball color, right? So you got the glow in the dark right there, the gold. 
and then the red. So, the yeah. biggest Alabama rigs. That's already like a video world within record. itself. Yeah, like, world record Alabama rigs. The biggest rig. Alabama <laughs> rigs we could ever throw. Oh. Look at this, this one I was talking about. Where's that? This one right here? That one looks pretty cool. Yeah, and no, there, no largemouth has seen that in that kind of fish in Alabama or Florida. So I honestly feel like that could catch. One of the biggest swim bait fish I ever caught was on a rainbow trout colored fishing lure in Miami. And there is no such thing as rainbow trout in Miami. But like the bass seen it and was like, I don't know what you are, but like you finna be lunch. I think we need one. It's, oh my gosh. Ounce and a, a half. A 1.25 ounce. Ounce and a quarter. It's Chatterbait. Okay, yeah, I think we need that too. Just forever fishing like six foot of water. Hey, I might, I might do like this. Yeah, right here because I have so many June bugs and so many shot colors. Little kind of bluegill color. I agree. I like yeah. it. One point two five ounces. Oh, oh. Whoa! You break it, you buy it, there, big dog. <laughs> One point two five ounces. I think we need it. I, I know, you're like you definitely need it. Oh, nice. All right, well, guys, we have some employees help us out. Pick out some of the most unique stuff in the store. So we have tons of mega bass in here. The world's biggest Alabama rig that we cannot buy where we live and uh, tons of other goodies that will probably go over more when I get back home. But we don't have a lot of time left in the store uh, before it closes. So we're gonna spend like 15 minutes going through and just picking, even if it's like something we've seen before, just like a unique color. I yeah. don't know, just like, let's get some stuff from here because I want to take some stuff home. Dude, there's so many aisles. I don't think, <laughs> this you is keep a, throwing me off my game. A unique color. Oh, dude. Oh my oh, bad, I I'll try to hand, hand toss. There's uh, Cabela's lures in here. We don't have Cabela's. That's so cool. I forget oh. that Bass Pro and Cabela's work together. So we don't have any Cabela's within. I mean, this is probably the closest Cabela's lure selling store to Florida. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a couple packs because I'll never be able to do it again. Just some blue color. That looks pretty good. Oh my gosh. Do you see this, Yak? Where do you go? They have this really good shiner color. Oh, no more. That's what I'm saying. They got a shag color I've never seen before. What is that? And do these guys- You might as well just open it. Like unbiased and Guggen doesn't make any trailers at all. Not yet, at least. Yeah. But Ooh. these are the best trailers for your chatterbaits. The Gary Alamo, they're a little bit pricey. They're like $7 for a pack of four. They only have two colors where we're at our Bass Pro Shops. They have like a black and blue and they have a solid white. They don't Dude, have any- that color? Oh my like, gosh. I can't even, I'm gonna try to hold this up for the light for you guys. I can't even explain how good that color is. You have to buy this. Dude. Yeah, and I, I need multiple. I'm not even, like, not even, if I didn't wasn't filming a video right now, I would definitely okay. still buy. No, not, not, I don't need that many. The cart's right here. Dude, oh, look at that. Like, the electric shag color, that's fire. The white and chartreuse oh. right here that you were talking about, enormous fire. You could put that on the back of that white jacket. Oh, yeah, 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 we need that, we need that. And then, look, they have a bluegill color, too. Oh so many colors. Gosh, dude. Guys, we're just gonna buy now and then look later. That's, because that's the best thing you could do. And it, it, it doesn't hurt your heart as much when you get to the counter and like you ring everything up, you know? Normally in a store, they'll have like a soft plastic aisle and a hard bait aisle, that'll be it. Like in this store, this is just a swim bait aisle. It's all swim baits on both sides. Each aisle is dedicated to a specific type of lure and it's nuts. Well, bam! I know well, you bam. don't want this color I just found. I've never in my life seen that color of a bait. It's like, like the morning dawn, like worm kind of, but swim bait form. But like even more red and stuff. You see what I mean? Like that's okay. Okay, we'll get it. Okay. Get it. All right, grab the cart, man. We'll keep going. I can't believe this store. It's like the fishing area is huge, but it's only makes up like ten percent of the store. There's so much other stuff going on. What about this thing, dude? The tremor shads. <laughs> you remember these have like that weird head they go on and they wobble back look and at forth. The, look at the tails. Like I don't know like... why I flipped that around like you couldn't see the tails on <laughs> the other side. Uh, yeah, we're getting them. We need to think about room in my bag. Oh, you're getting close. Bro, no joke. I'm not even kidding. You're getting close. Like you're getting really close. Yeah, we're going like... to have to fold clothes appropriately to even yeah. be able to make room. Yeah, I'm about to say you're getting very close because you've got seven fishing reels in your bag as we speak. These look really cool though. Lemon lime, trick worms. You definitely need those. The, those are at home, but I guess we need them too. The Savage Gear, like Morning Dawn Worms. Those look cool, can't find them where I'm at, so they're coming home with us. Well, bam. We probably should have set like a limit or a time. Robo Worms, dude, they have Robo Worms. No. These up north, like every single northern fishing YouTuber I watch, they swear these, by these things, but we don't have them. Where the smaller we live. ones, right? These right here. That's the exact ones they, they're Drop after. shots, yeah. Get, Drop shot for- Get a pack uh, of those. These are for, uh, what are they, uh, smallmouth, right? Up north? Yeah, smallmouth. This exact yep. 
And largemouth down here in the south do not see this at all. That's what I think. And if you order yeah. these online, I'm pretty sure if you order them to the south, they're like double or triple the price, like reselling, because these are in very high demand. So I think these are definitely worth getting. Dude, I can't believe they just have as much stuff as they do. I mean, I get it. Yeah. Whoa. I've never seen that brand of frog before. The Boom Boom. The Poppin' Frog. Oh, no. Bro, this frog right here that was given to me by Lake Okeechobee God. Look, it has Velcro on the top to help. Listen to me. You know how a bass's mouth has the sandpaper stuff, right? Yeah. It helps that bass grip onto I, that. And it was fighter jet colored. Like it had like a, you ever seen a fighter jet yeah. that has like the shark teeth on the front of it? Like that was that. But these right here are no joke. Like I didn't even know. I don't want to like reach above and beyond, but like probably best type frog ever made. Like, Dude, look at his teeth on the side. Is that what you're talking about? Look at about? the eyeball on the bottom. Okay. Look at the, the, this on the top. Feel that. It's Velcro to help the bass's mouth. Literally probably the best frog ever made. Uh, dude, I've heard of the Velcro. I looked at this frog and I just saw the packaging because there's Velcro on the top Yes. to increase hookup ratios. And dude, the eye on the bottom. So there's three eyes on this thing. Dude, that is probably the coolest frog I've ever seen. No joke. And we 100% no doubt my of mind. Yes, need two okay. of them. Oh, Jason is going to be so happy we're bringing him home frogs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah one for that. Jason. Manager Jason's getting a frog. Dude, I wonder why they don't have Velcro on top of any other brand frog that I've seen. I wonder if they have like a patent or why that is. But I think that's a genius idea because a, bass, a bass's teeth is like sandpaper. It's going to help stick that Velcro better. That's just genius. I agree. I don't I know think. what colors you want or anything. I, why want, is this I one actually different? want all of them. Oh, that's a popping frog right here? Oh, that's a And walk that's a regular frog. Okay. Guys, we're going to go with the gray, the black, and yellow, and then the black and red, and then those are like a natural color. Oh yeah, get the white, get the white. Okay. Get the straight up white, and then, oh, the green. Like a regular frog. Yeah. Last one on the shelf at that, too. Nah, this is cool, dude. I love these videos, because I get to like stack my tackle box up. We're getting mega bass stuff, we're getting boom boom frogs. It's just things that we can't get at the house. Like this is- The action on these are just, it, it'll blow your mind when you use them, I promise you. It's insane. I'm so excited, man. Velcro frogs. Uh, and that should be a thing that they have at Florida but they don't. It should you be. You gotta like order them. And that's why the pyramid guys is so cool. And just things like this we're walking past, we're probably missing so much stuff. It's just overwhelming. Dude, I mean, th uh, this would be great to throw in Lojo's Pond. We did a live crawfish challenge and these look exactly like them. Oh, we're getting them. Dude, we need to actually, I'm excited to pack the bags. See if we can make it fit. See if we can make it fit is a very good, I like how you say see what if. What is this? The dagger delta craw? Let me see. See, this is the stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, it's just a craw, but we just don't have these where we're at. Oh, oh you found it? Oh, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's called the eye loud, kind of like me. That's what you need. Yes. yes. I don't know if you thought I was going to say no, but I'm saying yes, yes. to that. So if you need rattle traps. You know your boys say trapping have, too. We have a whole aisle of rattle traps. Peyton, they need to give you a raise because you're making me buy so much stuff right now. You may need to go buy another uh, bag upstairs. <laughs> you gonna probably have to. We may have to ship it. See, see how he's slowing us on a bag now? What? Bass Pro Shops, Peyton that's needs a raise. All right, well, dude, thank you. That is, oh, what is this? The Crawfather. What in the coronation? Dude, Hold but that up. would work, you gotta admit. That would probably get the job done. We're getting them. It reminds me of a little speed craw. That's this is a problem, guys. If we keep shopping, this thing will be all the way full and we don't have enough room in our bags. Yeah. I'd say we give it like two more aisles and just stop. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta even give them a choice. It's this becoming one. a problem. Hey, what are these? Chompers? You haven't never seen these before. Get them. Lures for these are lures for lunkers though. Like only lunkers TV can use these. That's oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Lures for lunkers. Yeah. Next. That yeah, is very you true. just walked past the power baits, the champ craw. Bro, this whole aisle was only crawfish, guys. Like, look at these little Ned, Nedbird craws. There's so much stuff in here that, that looks really like cool. it works so good. You really realize how many fishing lures have been made when you walk through a store. They ran out of room in the whole two aisles of crawfish, so they had to carry over to the chatterbait aisle. Dude, we gotta get this. You, <laughs> you have see to. This yeah, look how lively it looks. I don't even know how you fish that, but we're getting it. Which one of these is your favorite color? <sighs> Jeez, dude, I don't know if I'd ever throw one of those. So which one's my favorite color? So mm -hmm. let, let, let me just play this game with you real quick. All right. This one's my favorite color. Right, yeah, we're getting this one. Just kidding. You're getting both. <laughs> I was waiting for the both. <laughs> we're just going to pretend like this day didn't happen. We're going to wake up tomorrow, and I'm going to put this day in the past. You're going to have to. Because I'm not proud of myself for this, guys, but it's for you. And we're going to do a whole thing. We're catching a ton of fish on all these lures, too. It's not ending at the pyramid. Do you want me to put you on the best spinnerbait you'll ever use? 
No joke. It's like hand tied, handcrafted, all that stuff. Okay, we might as well, man. It's just, it seems to be one of those videos now where we're just putting things in the cart. I've not seen these in the Tallahassee Bass seen it. Pro. They, this is the Bass Pro brand chatterbait. That's why we came. And dude, honestly, off first looks, I'm impressed with the paint job on the skirt. Yak, I think we need to get some of these, man, because we already got some jackhammers, so put them against them. What size you whatever, want? Whatever size you want. There's a 3 8 right there. Yes. I know you would rather have that than a half ounce. <laughs> That's the only white and chartreuse. We got to try them. What do you think? I think so, too. It's going to take 40 minutes to check this out. Oh, the reel, the reel. Yeah, don't forget the reel. Oh, yeah, that's a good now point. Go right back over there, grab the reel, yep. check out. Let's do it. After a word from our sponsor in this video. Yeah, I, there's, there's no, no sponsor. It. It's just, just it, the like button, subscribe if yeah, you guys want. Yeah, that's what this video is <laughs> sponsored by. The like, subscribe button. 760,000 views, so come back and do it again. There we go. Yes. I'll come back and do it again. I like that. <laughs> hunting edition and saltwater edition. Don't. Hunting? I say hunting because there's a Beretta store upstairs and that's got an $82,000 shotgun in it. So you may not want to do that. All right, so let's just say 500,000 likes, which won't happen. I'll go buy the Beretta. Yeah, you, won't, you <laughs> say it won't happen until it does. $82,000 shotgun. I'll do it. I'll do it with a... Uh, 500,000 likes yep. if y'all want to see Norm do not only his first hunting video ever, <laughs> not only his first hunting trip ever, but buying the most expensive shotgun he could possibly ever buy. I don't want to see the deer of a lifetime in this. They, somebody bought the $82,000 one. There's like a $16,000 one. Oh, that's even better. You can buy two yeah. of them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, we got to find a... Oh, there's the restaurant right there. Wall Burgers. No, there's one up top. Oh. You go up top and there's a the restaurant I that. Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, we're running a lot up top. Yeah. Do you know this elevator has only broke three times since 1990? Really? Wow. Well, also, fun fact, guys, we are headed up to the top of the Bass Pro Pyramid because there's a restaurant located up here. I figure we worked up a pretty big appetite. Yeah. It's actually kind of scary, dude. I'm yeah. looking, boy, when you look down, Jack Holy cow. If this did break for real, you No, I'm actually kind of getting nervous. Dude, when I look down, I get like a pit in my stomach. Stops. <laughs> Does that not kind of freak you out? Are you scared of heights? Oh, no, that was cool. I thought that was like a Star Wars elevator where we're like in one world, we came up to another. Oh. Observation deck to your right. Thank observation. You. She said observation deck to your right, and I literally instantly thought Star Wars again. Like, I felt like I was in Star Wars. Oh my gosh, the view, dude. Holy cow. This one? Oh, this is, this is nuts. We could have timed this better, bro. <laughs> you can see straight through the floor. Oh, that kind of makes me nervous. I'm really realizing how afraid of heights I am. Dude, I want to eat, like, bad. Oh, we need to put our order in before it gets too late. Yeah, no, that's, no, that's no, what no, I'm no. saying. We are yeah. getting distracted by Bro, they were waving things. at us from way down there. I know that lens will not do that any justice, but that's how, that's crazy. So guys, we're here at the lookout. This is the top of the pyramid, and you literally eat and you can look at everything. It's a full 360 view of Memphis and the river. It's absolutely nuts. Like, look at our table. Talk about dinner with a view. Yeah, it's, dude, it's like, honestly with the sunset, it's like astonishing. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, as a view, I'm not like really like a view Oh, I am, no, junkie, I am. I'm I guess. Sucker. I'm a sucker for it. But I will say this is pretty nice. What's so cool is this pyramid's the tallest thing in Memphis. Well, at least, I, I don't know if that's a fact, but just looking around, we're so high up, you can see absolutely everything as far as the skyline. So yeah. it's just it probably one of the coolest places to just go eat dinner. I'm looking at prices, and I thought with the view, the prices on the menu would be absolutely like, you know, just really expensive, like four or five stars or the money signs on Yelp. But we're Not looking bad. at everything from it's like Applebee's almost. Yeah, 10 to 35 bucks. 35 bucks the most expensive thing on the menu. Or there's a ribeye for $89. Besides that, everything else, I mean, it looks like you're just at a regular restaurant. I can't believe you get this view and the food is, is cheap. Oh, elk sliders for 20 bucks? You got to, bro. Elk? You know, elk <laughs> is like some of the most healthy meat you can eat, like ever eat. Um, can we try the elk sliders? Ground elk with pimento cheese and caramelized shallots. I don't even know what a shallot is. I don't know either. I've heard it before when I was watching uh, the Gordon Food Network. Ramsey. Yeah, Gordon oh, Ramsey. Yeah, yeah. So, so I've still never heard that in my life, but maybe I like shallots. I don't know. We're about to find out. We're about to see. And 
The thing is, Yak Pack is a super picky eater. He doesn't like sauces. Nothing. He just likes chicken and cheese, or meat and cheese. Meat and cheese only, that's it. But for an appetizer, we went with the Elk Slider for 20 bucks. I don't know how many it comes with, but I'm excited to give it like a try. We haven't ate anything all day. Yeah. At least I know it's the most unique view. Yo, the fish tank in the middle, yeah. you look around, and then oh, also crazy. this food could be absolutely nuts. Elk yeah. Sliders, yeah, I've Elk never seen that on the menu before. No, never, so. me neither. So I'm down. Should I try the Sky High Ribeye? Because it's the most expensive thing on the menu, but it's for the video. You know, it's not for my selfish needs of wanting to eat something nice. We have salads, sandwiches, entrees, and steaks. What are you feeling tonight for the main course? What's my budget? Oh, it's on limited budget, man. It's on. It's on my channel. Bro, when you said the uh, the Sky High Ribeye, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? <laughs> what do you think? No, I, I think because you know somebody might be a big steak guy. So I think think if we're doing like a food review here, yeah, one of us got to get a steak. I'll do something on the entree, like a little bit cheaper, and we can try like the cheap, cheaper food from here, the more expensive food from here. All we right. get a good range. Because I'm, I'm a steak guy for sure, and I know you're a guy that can eat anything. Yeah. Norm eats ostrich eggs from New England. I don't know how that's possible, but he does. I was reading the Smoked Turkey Club. Oh I thought my it was gosh. one billion dollars, but it's eighteen dollars. <laughs> Tell me that eight doesn't look like a B. Though. A one B. That's one B. Though. <laughs> I was about to that's say Elon Musk. Meal. Dang, that's pretty pricey. <laughs> Yo, Elon Musk. Eighteen bucks though. Venison and duck, bro. You and have duck, to. Venison and duck sauce. Have you ever had deer, duck? duck, and elk. Have you ever had duck? No, I've never it's had duck. It's so good. Ooh. I, I want to try that, man, because I want to see if elk, duck, or venison, I've had that before. Yeah. But which one I like the most. So guys, while we're waiting on our steaks to be made, we decided to come out to the balcony, get a nice little view. Yeah. This might be the most luxurious fishing store of all time. Yeah. You know, I know this title probably says 24 hour survival in the Bass Pro Pyramid. This is how I we're gonna to get survive. around to that portion, you know. Yeah. We'll get around to surviving, but yeah. right now we're, we're thriving. thriving. God, we're so good. It's like we should get married. <laughs> <laughs> the sunset though is very nice. I'm a sucker for sunsets. Me too. With you. All right, folks. So we have the first appetizer, the elk burgers. Mm. Not much to say. Let's just get into a little taste mm -hmm. test. How are you gonna take Go the one it. I wanted? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No. I don't eat onions. You know I don't eat onions. Oh my god. <laughs> very good. Rating out of 10? Say I give it an 8. 8. The it's meat's solid. very good. I just don't like the bread too much. The meat and all the flavoring they have is amazing though. Fumble with the bread though, I agree. The bread isn't even cut. It's just like hard. So you guys, it looks like we have a variety of things on here. We have cheese, strawberries, pickles. There's venison, and this is duck. Yak pack, is this duck? I feel like this is gonna be amazing. We have venison, and we have duck. All these cheeses, strawberries, grapes, olives, and this unique little sauce here. I think we gotta try this one too. Oh, I don't know about the sauce. I'll try this though. All right. Okay. That's so hot. I need you to, I need you to know. <laughs> don't eat it yet? Very hot. That's fresh out the grease. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to put these two together, but we're just going for it. It's so good. It's more cheese, Jack. Back. All right. What I'm gonna do here? You go wild. Get a little bit of salami. Go crazy. Man. We're gonna get a piece of. Uh, oh, I don't even know what type of cheese this is. Put that on there. Pepper jack. Pepper jack. Get a little bit of this. This looks like Dijon mustard. Ooh. And we're gonna put that. Over the top. I don't know if it's spicy or not, but that looks like a beautiful, beautiful snack right here. Good way to appetize for the steaks. Yeah. And the scallops. I'm excited about that. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna give us a taste review here. The duck and the venison are still hot, so we're letting them cool down. But I'm gonna cut it half. Uh, no way, bro. No way. All right, look. Give me a piece. I normally don't do this, but you know what? For you and your channel, I'll do anything. Good, the mustard. I know I need y'all to understand that I am one of the most picky people at 32 years old that you will ever meet in your life. Let me take a bite of it. <laughs> do you not like that? I do. It's good? Yeah. I know what it is. It's so good. I can't tell if it. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. Dang it, I thought you did. Mm -mm. I just swallow it whole. <laughs> it tastes so bad. No, it did not. The Stop mustard's that. horrible. The mustard's horrible. No, it's not. It's yeah. the best mustard I've ever had. I can't wait. I gotta try some duck. I'm 
already got to try some deer. And I'm going to dip it. I'm going to try this sauce. I don't know what this is. But it's kind of freaking me out. I'm going to just dunk it in there. So this was, um, I, I want to say this was the deer. And this is the duck. Neither one of that duck, I don't think. No salami. I don't know, this might be. That's not, don't taste like duck out. That needs to go in your mouth. That? Yeah. That's all. This is part two. Ooh. I'm a realist. I usually drop it down and let the whole world feel it. Salt on the broccoli. Only on the broccoli. Because you don't want to ruin the broccoli. So guys, we have our food. I ordered two because I figured not for me, not because I wanted it. But we have the most expensive steak here, the $89 steak. And actually, all three of us got that, so... Um, they heard I was paying and anyways, we have sea scallops here on a bed of mashed potatoes, asparagus. And guys, medium rare is the only way to do steak. But Yakpak did get his in medium. Medium rare All is right. superior. You ready? Yep. You good? Yep. Cheers. <laughs> All right. All right, dude. Yeah, that's a steak. That's a steak, ladies and gentlemen. The char on the edge, it's so crunchy on the outside, but it melts like butter in your mouth. That is amazing. That is so good. So good. I'm going to try my scallop, and then I'm going to eat this whole thing in seconds. All right. Cheers once again. Oh. Oh, my God. Dude. That might even be better. Wow. That's better. Wow. Okay, guys, food and Bass Pro Shops, world's <laughs> biggest fishing store. Five out of five in Norm's book. Yeah. These two, the appetizers, all right, the entrees, amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm done talking. I'm eating the rest of the time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Baked potato. I'm done talking for real this time. Let's go. Woo! All right, folks, so we are back from Texas now here in North Alabama. I know we've been in many places this video, but we have everything we got from the Bass Pro Shops, or about half of it. I met some people outside and gave away a lot, but I kept some of the really cool stuff we got because I really want to try it. So we kind of just lined everything up here on the dock. Uh, I got my metanium in the boat already. I'll show you who we're fishing with today. We got Lojo. Who we're fishing with today. Yes. Hello, everybody. Lojo's here. We have Jordan. This is his property. Common Man Outdoors. Yeah, Common Man Outdoors. And we have Ryan, intern, the intern, Ryan. who is going to be helping us film. This but... is a star-studded episode, my man. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us right, a little bit right. of the backstory on this spot, because we're not just fishing a regular like lake. This is a no, this legendary is a big spot. bass, legendary lake. I got called up from the minor leagues. Ao has some off the pond issues; he couldn't make it, so I'm here, he, stepping he is in. And for Ao, and I bring big yeah. bass with me. And Ao wouldn't catch any big bass here, anyway. So. Yeah, he doesn't believe in that. Yeah, he's not missing anything. He's just trying to put a yacht in here or something and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> or how much time till the sun goes down? We got like an hour and a. Two hours, try to catch some giant bass. And we have every lure from the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid to try to do so. And a brand new reel to try out. So I think there's gonna be a big bass caught in this video. I'm hype. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get in the boat and get the day started. All right, boys, biggest bass wins. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, the biggest bass wins the reel. <laughs> Dang it, yep, job, I, I hate that. <laughs> Guys, I'll show you a little bit of everything we got tied on. We have the, I mean, the beautiful swim bait here. I'm really excited to use this. I mean, the Bass Pro employee, shout out to you, man. Uh, so we have to try this, and I think I'll use that when the sun goes down a little bit. We have uh, those crazy craws on, the massive topwater walking bait. Oh yes, the chatter bait with those Gary Yamamoto trailers on there. That's like the mini chatter bait that I didn't even know existed. Did I leave the, oh, I left the Texas rig over there. Oh, well, we're yeah. I mean, you can yeah. definitely make that jump. Oh, yeah, I'm you sure I can. Do it. No, I cannot yeah. make that. Look, we're drifting that way. I think you just got to get like one leg here and like do the whole step thing. Look, we're going. Content. You got this. Come on. <laughs> Peer pressure. You totally have this. Content. You're seven foot tall. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> that was way too close for comfort. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a while since I've done a fishing video that doesn't have some crazy challenge to we're actually getting to fish with the most expensive lure ever we have a 25 dollars little rattle trap my brand new reel so i gotta catch my first on the my first fish on the brand new reel oh. that was my crotch no problem <laughs> i'm excited we have so much good stuff lined up i definitely want to try that mega bass like big wake bait thing later today and we have that massive top water rocking bait if like something goes crazy and uh chatter baits texas rigs the robo worms 
like the best stuff you could possibly get. So let's get it started. Big fish wins my reel. Let's go, baby. Norm's Ooh. giving back today. Guys, we also only had 12 pound line here. So that's what's on my brand new reel. There's so much timber out here. I'm just terrified. Nothing but timber and big fish and 12 pound line. That's not what you want to see. <laughs> We guys, we tried doing like a live bait bluegill video for Lojo and didn't go too good. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe it'll get better though. If it hasn't come out yet, definitely still watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, uh, you tight? I'm tight on a log. Oh, man. My $25 lure is hung. Gosh. Just like me. Mm. Mm. He didn't even know what that meant. He oh! I just got yoinked over on there. On the craw? On the crazy craw. Oh, the crazy boy. craw. It is a weird That's going craw. in too. That's the <laughs> intro right there. I love when you, when you do your things, Lojo. <laughs> <laughs> makes me so happy. Oh makes me feel young. God, there's Shad jumping over there. That craw actually looks pretty good, dude. Uh, it, it, oh. No way. No. It somehow looks more realistic than a normal craw does. <laughs> I don't even understand how that's possible. I'm gonna get right around you because yeah, my just lure is. Interlock our legs. <laughs> play a game of Twister real quick. And just to be clear, not, nobody's ever caught a fish down here. Oh, I caught a log. Does that yeah, count? That's probably why people don't come back here that much. But hey, we learned something. Oh, I got one! I got one! We're on! Get Let's go! Dude, it might be a bluegill. It doesn't even feel like a bat. He pulled off. Woo. No! You just said nobody's ever caught a fish okay. here. That was impeccable. Yeah, you time. forgot I'm a professional fisherman. You hear that, guys? I'm going pro 2028. I'll, I'll hit the tour. Dude, I like this reel. I like the Metanium DC sound. Well, oh, that's the Metanium. How much did that cost? 500? 500 bucks, yeah. Dude, I bought one of those a long time ago and I immediately regretted it. How do you feel about it? I like it. I know, but is it $500 no, good though? No, I don't think any reel is $500 good. That was kind of how I felt about it as well. Guys, I'm gonna do a lot of bait switching today. So we got that Robo Worm tied on that morning dawn, the Northern Smalley Special. We're gonna see if he can catch us a big large mouth. Thank you. While Lojo eats or drinks the lime cucumber Gatorade, <laughs> the worst Gatorade ever made, probably the worst drink ever made. I'd rather oh. drink water than drink that. <laughs> Don't like that cucumber aftertaste that just I comes in. It. it tastes good at first, and then the cucumber comes in. You're like that does that doesn't taste good, dude. If you catch a giant on a frog, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you were like giving it oh! I think uh, I just snatched my crawl out of his mouth. Crazy crawl with the first bite. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was snagged, and then it just started doing the whole <laughs> pulling back thing. Oh, 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 yeah, one, oh. another one on the crazy crawl. Crazy crawl. Are you kidding me? Before. Did you lose it? I'm just gonna leave the pack on the deck because apparently we're gonna need them. Dude, my robo worm has not got touched at all. Kind of it's jealous. this ultra realistic crawl, man. And by ultra realistic, I mean it looks nothing like a crawl that I've ever seen. Actually, it's kind of like red and yellowish, like a crawl would be. Let me go around. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I got my motor down and everything. Let me just. Oh, you got one? Hey, there good? we go. What is that on the chatterbait? Oh, oh, not the bad one. I don't know what you call it, Norm. Is it the crawl? <laughs> Whatever y'all call this crawl. <laughs> Dude, that's a, he's got a huge mouth. That's, that's a, a good, good looking fish. fish. He's wrapped up in that tree. Oh my. Oh, oh my I got Lord. him out. I got him out. Yes. Dude, Come nice on now. Fish. Let's go. Play it him. Oh, yeah. We got him. Settle down now. He's heavier than he looks. We got 2.94, 2.9, 2. Bouncing all over the place. We're gonna call it 2.9. Crawl. Crazy crawl getting it done. Here you go. Bass Pro. Oh. Good chunk. Oh. Dude, as I'll soon as it hit the up. water. I'll follow you up. I couldn't tell. I don't even know why he couldn't tell. I'm just haven't fished in a year. <laughs> Dude, look at that. He bit my tail off. Oh my God, I just got bit. He, he had it behind wow. the tail. Oh yeah, you got him. Oh, you missed my fish too. How did he swerve both of us like that? I don't know, but he ate half my worm and I'm mad at him. Look at me. He got one of my uh, craw claws. 
but wow. he didn't get the full thing. This is probably like the smallest fish in the entire lake. But another robo worm on. Dude, these things have so much salt on them. They're coming off on my fingers. I told you in the beginning there, Lojo, and you went the opposite way of what I said, so I figured. <laughs> Throw the mega bait. Oop, and log. I should win the reel if I catch fish on this period. Oh, I cast oh. it off. No, okay. you get that. It's it, like 35 it bucks. It floats. Okay. It's fine. Yoinks. That's embarrassing. These gosh darn cheap Shimanos, man. They just cast a little bit too good. I really wanted to throw that, too. That's kind of kind of lame on my part. Good. I'm about to hand work one in. <laughs> Bro, if you catch one, I'm going to go crazy. I can't catch up with my line because we're cruising so fast. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. I thought it was a log. Might actually be good, dude. He's not really like... Let's go, Norm. Get him. Never really bit it. Oh, it might be small, actually. I can't tell. He's head shaking. Come here, baby. There we go. Pretty good? Oh, he's all right. He's all right. He's not big, though. But that'll get us on the board. <laughs> there we go, dude. Look at that. Don't do me. Well, guys, that was actually my first fish on the brand new reel. And we have the crazy Mega Bass $25 whipless crankbait. End up catching that guy. And guys, these fish out here are so fat. There's so much bait going around. And I think, you know, something like a lipless crankbait, the chatterbaits we got going on, could catch something even bigger. So I'm gonna let this dude go. Get back in there. Is this the mega bass thing? This is like a jointed wake bait? Yeah. With a prop tail, dear lord. What does this thing look like in the water? Oh, yeah. Apparently oh. it's got some big fish before from everybody I've talked to that's used it. They Just love it. Listen to this. Oh, it's very, dude, I've never heard a bit that wow. sounds like that before. It's pretty unique. Okay, I'm back in it. I'm He's excited. Back. I'll just cast this one off next. I'm just going to sit down. Please don't cast that one off. <laughs> There's only one of those in the world. Well, I mean, it's just, well, yeah, it's just weird. I mean, I, I appreciate it. I, I love it. It's just, it's hard to. That's one. There he is. Stay on. He feels so tiny. <laughs> Don't you say it's that. It's a bluegill. <laughs> you don't know that. I, dude, I know. I know. Look, it's not a bluegill. It's a bass. <laughs> I, the second cast, I finally picked the... Uh... <sighs> don't you do that. There's no hospital for an hour. Stop. 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 Stop that, you dirty dog. Well, I finally picked up the trap after probably, I don't know, 30 minutes throwing the robo worm. <laughs> there he is, another one. I hung up my trap and I actually broke off one of the back ends of the hooks, so I'm kind of living a dangerous life here if we hook a big one, but it seems to be what they want right now. You don't need all six of those hooks, you're good. Only a couple of them are gonna stay in the fish anyways, right? Yeah. I wanna see you get blown up by that so bad, dude. I would really love to catch a fish. There's one. Dude, He's on. <laughs> the trap is just there we destroying go. them. Next cast. Wow. Oh, boy. Dude, he tried yeah. to throw that thing back in the boat. How big was that? Did anybody see it? I was looking down. I did not see, did it. Not see it. Dang. I see some activity right here, though. Well, the trap is just getting them. You make the trap just seem like it's the best lure of all time. It is. With the trap in your hand, it's like... No, you dare disrespect the trap. No, I'm not. I just, when, when you use it, it's just so much more effective than when anybody else uses it on planet <laughs> Earth. It's just crazy. I appreciate... Oh, I got bit right oh, here, I dude. Got bit too. No way. Oh, there he is. I just got cranked, but he dropped it. I'm not even joking with you right now. I still had him. Bro, look at this. Stole my other claw. This crazy crawl is getting demolished out here. Everything, ooh, I saw that too. I thought it was him moving. Oh, I just got knocked so much slack in my line, dude. Oh, oh, she's pulling. I don't know if she's a pound or, oh, it's not a bad one, dude. There we go. Oh, that jump was awesome. Get the net, Lojo, get the net. Where is it? I don't know where it is. This is your boat. Oh. <laughs> I know, dude. Stop, I could tell he it. knocked my he oh, knocked my rattle trap sideways. Bro, trap. I only have like two little hooks on the back too, Lojo. I don't know how trapped. good. I'm sorry. Oh, he's pulling hard. He's pulling hard right like Davy Gravy. 
<laughs> Come Let's on. Go, big mama. Oh! Dude, nice fish. Come on, Lojo. Come on, Lojo. Hey, she's fighting. I know it's ridiculous, and I know my hooks are all messed up. Oh, dude, let her. Oh, oh. She's fighting. Dude, this new reel, though, is so nice. Come on, Bass Pro Fish. Oh, come, on. come on. From the pyramid. The oh! big bass and elephant. Let's go. Ah. Oh, that's a giant. That's a good fish. Bro. Dude, and she Holy ate shit. it so good. Wow. <laughs> Dude, look how big Dude, where that is my fish. lure? How did she, what did she do to she it? She ate it, man. <laughs> There's the broken hook just sticking out right there, too. Look at wow. She wasn't even hooked on her top top lip right there. Dude. Yoinks. Massive bass, guys. We're going to get it weight on her. Yeah, let's get the scale, man. Dude. What a fight, too. She jumped like six separate times. How my heart racing because the back of my hooks were off. What do you think? Give it your guess right there. I'm going to say 4.75. Yeah, she's really close to five. She's, she she's might be thick. five, but I'm I don't gonna think so. I'm going to say five even. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. She's five stacked. and a half. Five, six? Five, 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 six. She's five and a half pounder. She's very fat. Look at that, dude. <laughs> she is thick. Dude, beautiful bass during the sunset. Wow. Yeah. All right, guys, all the way from Texas, the $25 crankbait. Caught us a five and a half pounder. Nothing less I would expect from a lure that costs that much money. And boy, was that fight fun. We're going to let her go. Ooh. Really? There she goes. Right off this point, too. Just slow rolling it. Felt the most slack knocked to my line ever. I thought she just knocked it sideways. Reeled up the slack and she was on it. Loaded up. <laughs> Crazy fight. We still got a little bit of time left. Dude, she was just fighting abnormally hard for a fish that size. Oh, I got cranked again. Get out of here, dude. Oh. Oh, dude it's, the, it's the hooks that are gone, man. Oh, man. Guys, I'm missing one of my hooks on the back. And normally they grab it from the back. So just had another one in the same exact spot. Felt pretty big. Dude, the bite is icing up. Yeah, it really is. Do we have any more <laughs> <laughs> no. traps? Uh, that's we no, have, no, we have a goldfish trap. Dude, I don't let know if me, I brought it. Let me get that. Oh, no, I left it. it. Dude, I left it on the bank. Bro, how could you do this to me? Oh, I didn't know it was going to work. I've never been here before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm just going to swim this little crazy crawl a little bit, you know? Maybe just yeah. kind of... Boys home. <laughs> These poor trouble hooks I've just received. <laughs> yeah, so many logs. Oh, that was one 100%. We're on. We're tight. We're tight, boys. Get the net, Lojo. Oh, I'm trying to. I don't know if he's big. I'm trying to get you away from you this never. Snakes. No, you stop that and you help <laughs> yeah, me get a net. Oh, it's a big one. It's okay. another big one, Lojo. Right, right. Lojo! I'm with, you. I'm with Lojo! you. Lojo! There's little tiny hooks on here and they don't work. It's like a six oh! pound. Oh, no, he gave up. It was like a six, seven pounder. It was bigger, than, it was bigger than the last one. It was, Dang oh. it. That was significantly bigger. Oh. It was bigger. Oh, I told myself I shouldn't throw it because it's missing hooks. This is starting to become heartbreaking, dude. Because these are big fish. Come that was like a six, seven. I think it was like, I don't know, six that or was seven the, was easy. If that last one was five and a half, that one was significant. That was higher. over six. Over six, over six yeah. easily, yeah. yes. Dude, if we had the extendo arm, I might have could have reached it, but it's broken. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't your fault. I was I right there, up. dude. Dang, man, it's Bro. so tough because the, the hooks, and they always grab that back one and that's where the one's missing. I don't blame you for keeping on throwing it though. I mean, how could you not? He had that other one oh, that was on pulling really hard. We never even saw. So who knows what that was, you know? That could have been another one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are our feelings here? We want to kind of hang out in this vicinity. I think I was thinking like pulling off and kind of hitting like the kind of outer edges of this that we yeah. really didn't hit. With the trap, probably? That's Ooh, no way. That's a log. I was just making sure, you know. <laughs> I snapped off my, my crankbait and lost. There's probably a pound and a half, maybe two pounds bigger than my last one. But we're going to switch up to the Robo Worm for the rest of the little oh, bit of the night. You got it one? It feels good, dude. Oh, you... oh, it came off. Dude, bro, I'm telling what you. What is our problem? I don't know. Why do you we were suck at this so doubled bad? Doubled over with that a trouble hook lure. huge. They are dude. out here, man. They are eating. Well, <laughs> so the bite is on. But it's on, wind is up. I might drag a worm through all this stuff where the big ones are eating. I don't know, but I lost my lucky lure, so it is nuts, though. We're having some good stuff. Uh, well, there you go. So I think a clutch coming in this late, I think you're good. What are you throwing? The rattle trap? Yes. It's a trap. The goldfish. Oh, yeah, that's a hook in my finger. That's I'm on. Oh, he's on. Oh. Keep him on there. Oh, don't let him come off, Lojo. 
keep her on. Is she fine. good? I don't know. You don't know? You know how the crankbait fish are. You just never know. Goldfish. Definitely hit it like a ton of bread. Oh, oh, dang, not bad. Go ahead and net her just for old time's sake, man. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Dear the Lord, at least I contributed something to your video. He hit it a lot bigger than that, I thought, but um, I do feel like size is upgrading. They're like, now the sun's coming down and it's like yeah. becoming a nighttime thing with the wind. I feel like the average size is definitely getting bigger on these moving baits, so. We gotta start throwing some top water too. We completely forgot oh, about that. Too. We have the best top water lures in the whole entire world. All right. See you later, buddy. Bigger than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, why does this crankbait not even feel like it's cranking? Dang boy. No. On? We're on. Stay on, please. Lojo, yep, I think he's about, I think he came off. No, he's swimming towards the boat. I don't know what's going on. It's dark outside. Talk to I me. I can't see. He's under the boat. Okay. He's not that bad either. Fight him, Norm. Yo! Yeah! Oh! Well, maybe a two pounder. What a stud. It's getting dark out here, but we just can't leave. We're having too much fun. And we get to stay in the cabin, so we're gonna do more videos out here too, have redemption on the seven pounder, but. Back she goes. We figured out, guys, this is our first day here. The lipless crankbait so far has been like the move, like by far. I think now all of us have switched up to that. Grape review. Pretty good grape.